Hello. What's up guys? This is Steve for Android Night. Happy holidays, Xmas, Christmas, and all of those good things. I'm wearing a hat, um, because that's sort of what we do. And today I'm going to be answering one of the questions I get a lot. So I'm going to show you all the little tweaks I do to make my home screen look the way it does. So if I pinch here, you can see I have my far left home screen set as the one um, which is sort of the main home screen. Then just to the right of it I have a calendar widget. Then on this empty page I put folders of apps that I'm going to be doing reviews or videos on. So this is month calendar widget and as you can see you get a nice display which shows you everything you've got going um, for the entire month. If you tap on a day you can see by the little dots that you've got a task or an event. So you tap it you can see what it is. You can add more and you can also swipe across um, and it's a really pleasing user interface to use. You can swipe across the different days. You can sync this with a couple of different calendars. I've got it synced with Google Calendar and I've got a thing set up which will sync all my Facebook events to my Google Calendar as well. So next up on my home screen here, I've just got a Google search widget. This is actually the one which you have to add rather than doing it through the desktop setting. So if you scroll to the top, you get all your Nova Launcher widgets. This is just the quick search bar. And if you drag and drop, you can see you've got a bunch of different styles to choose from. The one I'm currently using, I think, is the middle one. Then at the bottom of my screen here, I've got a social folder, which has just got all my social applications in. Stuff, which just is a quick way to get to things like Photos and Evernote and Google Drive. Then a productivity one, which has just got a calendar. And an app called Forest, which lets you plant virtual trees to stop you procrastinating. I've then, of course, got a link to the Play Store, the Chrome Beta app, Camera, Spotify, and my phone. The live wallpaper I'm currently using is the Paperland Pro live wallpaper, which is, or which has been consistently one of my favorite live wallpapers for the last couple of years, and it's got a Christmas theme, so obviously it's Christmas, I'm going to throw in a nice little Christmas theme. You've got Santa there, throwing huge presents by the look of it, presents as big as the car, at the cars that disappear, but never mind, you've got Santa, which is lovely. So as far as my icons, I have a bunch of different icon packs that I regularly cycle through, and the one I'm currently using is called Muffin. And you can see I've got a bunch of different ones like around, candy, click UI. Um, I'm going to be doing some videos on my favorite icon packs, so I'll do those in greater depth then. I also have normalized icon size ticked, and this will make all your icons look a bit more unified in terms of their size. So if you've got an icon pack, for example, which is all circles or all squares, it's very easy to make it look very unified um, across the board. But if you've got something, say, in fact, something more like Muffin, you can see all the icons are um, random sort of shapes and sizes. If you normalize it, this will pull them all to look a little bit more unified and neat. People often ask what the size of the grid I'm rocking is, and it's just 5 by 4 And I've got my icon size just set to 100. On my Nexus 5, I have the icons ever so slightly larger. It just depends, um, depends which phone I'm rocking. Then I have no padding, and I've obviously got the persistent search bar turned off. And as far as this dot goes at the bottom, it is just one dock of icons. I've got nothing fancy going on with... Ooh. I have nothing fancy going on with scrolling or anything like that. I've also, I used to have it set so if I swiped up, it would launch my application drawer. I found using a G4, a phone with a slightly bigger screen, <coughs> excuse me, a phone with a slightly bigger screen, it tends to be easier just to tap uh, to launch applications. And in my app drawer, you can see I've got all my apps sorted into folders. Now, the easiest way to make a folder in Nova Launcher is to grab an app from your application drawer, drag it up to the edit option here. And then if you scroll down here, you can see a list of all the folders you've currently got. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can add a new group um, and it'll add a new folder. Then, oh, then once you've got a folder, so for example, the icon packs one, you can really quickly edit what's in this by tapping the three buttons here and hitting select apps. And then you can literally just scroll through all of your installed applications and add them to the folder there. So a lot of people ask me how to put folders into your application drawer in Nova Launcher and that is the easiest and quickest way. The other cool thing you can do is scroll down and you can then search for any app you want. I hope you enjoyed that guys. Please hit the like button if this video has been useful. You can also hit subscribe if you haven't seen me before. You can follow me on all my social media things with the links in the description. To you guys that have been subscribed for a while, I apologise I haven't uploaded anything recently. I've been really, really busy with university with coursework and stuff and I've also been quite ill. But at the moment, I'm feeling pretty good, so I'm going to do some videos for you guys whilst I can. So please subscribe again if you haven't seen me before. Please comment below if there's anything else you'd like to see. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.